Hi. There are many cases when you want to render a component based on one or more conditions. The easiest way to do it is to use an if-else statement inside a component body, whether it is a render method or a functional component body. Imagine that we do not want to render the hello component when a name is not provided, like in this example. You can see that the empty greeting is displayed and this is not what I expect. I can add an if else statement inside the body of the hello component. First, let's expand the function body into multi-line form. Now we need a return statement. Okay, it works just as the original hello component. And now I can add the rendering logic. If not props name, then return null. When null is returned, the component is not rendered. Let's save and see if it works. Okay, when the name is not provided, the component is not displayed. It is possible to implement the hello component as a single line using a ternary operator. I start with the condition. So if props name, then then the text component will be rendered. Otherwise, we return null. Now I need to clean the closing brace and it works. Let's split it into multiple lines. Okay, ternary operator can be also used directly inside a render method using carry braces. Let's display a different greeting message based on age property. So if this state age is less than 75, we display you are young with the value of age. Otherwise, we display you are not so young and again the value of age. I need to close this expression with a closing curly brace. Now you can see that for age 40 the message is you are young 40. If I change the starting age to say 80 the message is you are not so young 95. We've got 95 here because the age was increased by 5 in each of these set state statements. Now you can see that we access this state age three times inside the render method. It's convenient to extract it and store it as a variable. So const age is equal to this state age and now I can simplify the code. It works the same just as I wanted it. Let's do something a little bit more complex. We will render fruits only if the array is not empty. If it is empty, we will display a message telling so. First, let's extract fruits from the state. This will make this state fruits. It makes the code cleaner because we will refer to fruits several times. Now you can notice that these two lines look almost the same. ES6 offers a shorthand notation for retrieving multiple properties from a single object, calling object destructuring. It looks like this. Const age fruits 
equal this state and we don't need this and this anymore. What this line does is it unpacks age and fruits properties from the state object into distinct local variables. Now we can change rendering of fruits like this and add the condition. So if fruits length is greater than zero, we return the map. Otherwise, we render a text element saying there are no fruits. Let's test it. Okay, we've got three fruits in the basket, so there's no message displayed, only the contents of the basket. Now, if I remove the contents from here and skip adding banana, the label is displayed. There are no fruits. Good. Let's revert this change. And again, we've got fruits displayed. The third way to render components conditionally is to use logical double ampersand operator. It is used when you want to render either an element or nothing. For instance, let's display a label for our fruits array if there is at least a single fruit in it. We can add it here and now fruits length greater than zero double ampersand text element and inside your fruits. Yep, it is rendered and again if I test it by clearing the fruits array here and here you can see that the label is not printed. Let's revert again and it prints. In JavaScript, the double ampersand operator returns the first falsy value. If none are falsy, like here, because this is a truthy condition and this is logically a truthy condition as well, then the last value is returned. So this is this element. This whole expression is evaluated to the text element. if there is at least a single fruit in the array.